Oh, hey there, Solid Rock youth. I'm Janet, and I used to be a Solid Rock leader until I moved out west last year, and I really miss you guys. Today we're on chapter 18 of the Gospel of John, and I get to talk to you about that. So, Jesus has spent the last few chapters teaching and praying, but now a whole lot more action is about to break out. Judas shows up with a bunch of soldiers to arrest Jesus. Peter cuts off some guy's ear. Jesus is taken away. Peter denies Jesus in the background as Jesus stands trial in front of the high priest. And then Jesus is taken to stand trial again in front of Pilate. And Pilate can't seem to find anything wrong with Jesus. So that's kind of a lot. But the part that stands out to me the most starts in verse 28, where Jesus is taken to Pilate, the Roman governor. The Jewish leaders only go as far as the door of Pilate's palace because they want to stay religiously pure enough to be able to eat the Passover meal later that day. Which is ironic because their reason for being there is that they have no right to execute anyone. So they're like, oh, don't go inside. We have to follow God. And we want to kill this guy, which is kind of against God's law. But I think how often do I do this? How often do I post something on social media that shows a lack of love for the person on the other side of the screen? How often do I want to seem holy enough to hang out with my Christian friends while crushing or ignoring anyone who challenges my holiness? Back in the story, uh, Pilate takes Jesus aside and asks him, look, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus answers, is that your own idea, or have other people been talking to you about me? See, our words about Jesus and our actions affect how other people understand Jesus. So if people are looking at us to find out what God is like, are we showing a true likeness? Or are we giving them our wrong ideas? Jesus and Pilate, they continue talking, and eventually Jesus says, I was born and came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. And Pilate retorts, well, what is truth? Pilate has seen and heard a lot from the religious leaders and is not adding up. I don't want the people around me to be confused about what the truth is because my words and actions don't add up. I want to be on the side of truth and listen to Jesus, which means actually doing what he said. And what he said is that we need to love one another. And we read that back in chapter 13. So I'm going to pray for us now. Uh, why don't you join me? Jesus, thank you so much for bringing us the truth. Please help us, especially during this pandemic, to remember your truth and your command to love one another. God, at this moment, our act of love is to pray for people. So please be with the people who are sick. You're the healer, so please help them to get better and bring peace to them and their families. Also, be with the people who are at home and missing their friends in daily routines or who are suffering because they or their parents can't work right now. Please provide them with all that they need and help us to know how to be your hands and feet right now. I also ask that you be with our politicians who have a lot of hard decisions to make these days. Give them wisdom and courage and help us to follow their lead well so that we can protect each other. In our words and in our actions, may we bring glory to your name. Amen.